Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jayla, also known as Jay Chanelli on the internet. So that is where you can find and follow me. Today I'm bringing you my review of the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And by request of y'all, I went ahead and picked up the colors 360 and 385 now 360 is normally like my winter color 385 is my summer color so i'm going to go ahead and give y'all some color comparisons in between these two just in case you need to know which one to pick up without further ado let's get right into the video on the top here we have the color 360 on the bottom we have the color 385 you can clearly see the differences in between those two shades before i apply this foundation i am going to spot conceal using my fenty concealers to go ahead and conceal my face I'm gonna take the color 385 to get my hyperpigmentation mark so like here I'm gonna go in with 360 to highlight my face just a little bit and gonna go in with 350 underneath my eyes to get these bags, honey. This is our concealed face. And finally, we are gonna go into this powder foundation by Fenty. Let's go in with the color 360. Wipe in it a little bit. in this time. Oh, there it is. Right there. So we know what 360 looks like on my skin. And honestly, that looks like a perfect match for me right now. But I am still going to show y'all what 385 is looking like. Just from looking at it, it looks a lot warmer than I need it to be for my skin. But I know that some of y'all are just like me and you bounce in between 360 and 385. Or maybe you just wear 385 and you wanna see what it looks like. So I'm gonna take that much. Again, I'm rubbing in this compact because I wanna see the pigment. And I'm gonna start pressing this into my face. clearly see that's not my shade right now so it's looking a little bit orange on me y'all see it's looking orange as opposed to this side of my face okay so I'm gonna come back to y'all with my full face and my final thoughts I'll be right back okay y'all so I am back with my full face on and let me tell you my final thoughts about these new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundations but first get into the skin Y'all, I love this. Like, let me be honest with y'all. I didn't really know how to feel about these powder foundations because I've literally like never used a powder foundation before, especially as a standalone product. So I really was like very, very, very iffy. I always thought powder foundations were for like more seasoned ladies, you know, the more seasoned saints. Um, so I'm just presently surprised with the results that I got. My face looks so natural. Now, let me tell you something that I did do that I wanna make sure you know. I actually went in with liquid concealer on top of that powder foundation because I wasn't getting enough brightness for me. So I went on top with the Fenty Pro Filter liquid concealer and then I went ahead and set it like normal and let me get close so y'all can see underneath my eyes. It's not caking up. It's not doing anything crazy. It looks really, really good. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to change up like the order of their routine and you still want to do concealer after powder foundation, you can go ahead and do that. And that's the biggest thing for me, y'all. Like that's the seller for me because I'm not trying to switch up my routine just for one product. So if you were thinking about picking up this powder foundation, I 100% recommend 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Again, I hope I helped y'all with the color match. Um, right now, I'm definitely a 360 and I will be using 360 probably until the summer. Um, when I'm able to use 385, I will come to y'all and show y'all what 385 truly looks like on my skin. But for right now, 360 is my girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video so YouTube can share with other people. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.